Hey everyone, as, uh, as this whole challenging season that we're in continues, uh, it becomes more and more imperative that some things that along the way that may have seemed optional now become more essential than ever. To really endure a season that's lasting this long without much end in sight, we're gonna need some different tools in our tool belt to actually make our way through this and thrive along the way. And so today I'm here with actually one that won't sound new, it's, it's a reminder, but the results on the other side of it are so good and maybe, just maybe, we're in just the right situation for this to move from a good idea to something that might be essential. You see, on the other side of this practice uh, are a lot of really great things. My wife and I are experiencing this as we step into this, and others around me are as well. Uh, what we're experiencing is that we trust God more because of this. We're finding that our joy and our peace are increasing in the midst of this, and we're finding that we are looking around and seeing the good around us more than just the frustration or, uh, or challenge that's always kind of pressing in and right in front of us. If you want that, if you want more trust, more peace and joy, uh, and to see the good uh, more than just the challenge and the bad, uh, to live that kind of life, then, then there's a simple practice, like one simple practice that helps point in that direction. And it's this, a gratitude list every day. Now, if you're like me, you're like, listen, that's so simple. That's not news, that's not revolutionary. Of course it's not, but it's effective. In fact, uh, as my wife and I were texting the other day, the long list of things to be grateful for, even as uh, school at home with so much online and challenge has come about, there's lots of things to be frustrated with. But as we made a list of all the things that are good, we're just finding, oh man, there's so much more good than is uh, always apparent. There is a trust that's increasing in us as we continue to point things out like the reality of no pickups and drop-offs, the immediate feedback and participation uh, with our kids, the ability to really enjoy our days together even though we're having to figure a lot of things out. There's so much good. And the more we rehearse that day after day, uh, we're just finding those trust increase and this crazy thing is happening. The more we look for the good, the more we see it. The more we practice and, and like lean in, even with a little bit of discipline, a little bit of effort to say, where are the things that are really awesome that we can be grateful for together? We're training ourselves and experiencing how quickly and easily it is to see those and how more and more we're seeing those first. Uh, in the news and everywhere around us, it's so easy to see all the challenge and other things that, that are, uh, can be such a burden and so frustrating and remind us of things that we might be missing. Uh, but as we practice, this, this is our experience of people around us, as we experience making the list of the things that we're grateful for, uh, the more we see those things first. And so I want to encourage you, give it a go. Now, this may sound a little bit like uh, what we preached a few weeks ago in our day-by-day -day series, uh, talking about reminders. Well, Reminders have more to do with kind of mountaintop moments and big movements of God that remind us of his character. This is very similar, except it's looking in the details. If what we talked about with reminders is looking across the landscape and seeing the epic views, then this is looking for the details in the step-by-step, day-by-day walk. Uh, and as we do this, we start to cultivate a heart of gratitude. We start to see God at work all the time. We notice him and what he's up to, and it creates space for the spirit to produce the kind of fruit that he does, like love and joy and peace and patience and the kind of things that we're gonna need. So I wanna encourage you, grab uh, a friend, grab some family members, grab a piece of paper and your phone and just start making a list. Look for the smallest things. Ensure there's bad angles of them, there's challenging stuff around it in the midst of it. We don't need to qualify all that. Let's just dial in on the good and watch what happens in our spirit, in our heart, in our relationship with God as we do this day after day after day. It's these kind of simple practices that have always been a good idea, but right now may be more essential than ever that will create space for God to work and sustain us even in challenging times. I can't wait to hear all the stories. Make sure you post them in the comments. We hope to see you soon. We love you and we're with you.